Hey, Pat McArdle here with Team Polaris. Coming to you on a new series called Shop Talk. We're gonna get a little more in depth on some of the cool technologies here at Polaris. We're filming the first episode here, which is all about the 181 horsepower plant in the new Turbo R and Pro XP for Team Razor. So, a lot of questions we get asked. Is this a turbocharged XP1000 engine? Short answer, no. There's lots of differences. Obviously, the turbo is easy to see. It's got a beefed up uh, crankshaft, bigger oil pan, bigger main bearings, stronger rods, uh, same piston bore sizing, but it's a shorter stroke, so it's actually a 925, not a 1000. Uh, it's got closed deck cylinder versus open deck on the 1000. We've got sodium filled exhaust valves. Um, so no, it's a different engine, lots of things different about it. Pretty awesome though. All right, so next question. So what is a turbo? Why is it cool? So the turbo is sitting right up here, uh, coming out of the exhaust. What the turbo does is exhaust gases flow out of the exhaust ports. They spin this uh, turbine in the exhaust side, which actually then spins on the intake side, which draws air in through here, compresses it, forces it out the tube back into the intake side, which basically brings more air into the engine than the engine could suck in by itself. More air, more fuel equals more power. Who doesn't like more power? All right, so how is the Pro XP and Turbo R engine different than the older XP Turbo and Turbo S? Few key things that are different. Number one, you got a vented head on the top. Number two, you got a bigger turbocharger. Number three, it's actually a liquid cooled turbo, not just an oil cooled turbo. Uh, on the Turbo R, there's also a bigger water pump. What are some of the differences between the 168 horse turbo and the 181 horse turbo? Well, let me show you. If you look down on the turbine side, you can see that the bigger power one actually is bigger. <clears throat> if you look at the top of these turbos, you'll see that I only have one port here. That's for the oil feed line, which also exists on the 181, but you'll see there's also a coolant port right next to it in the back, or on the top of the motor here, and right here, which this one doesn't have. The 168 is oil cooled only. The 181 has got oil and liquid to cool that turbo housing down. The other difference, if you come around to the other side, you'll see that some of the geometry on the, uh, on the housing here is actually wide open on the 168, and the port is actually a little bit separated here on the 181. So there are some big differences, and this 181 is an all new turbo to make that bigger power in the Pro XP and Turbo R. So one of the cool things that people don't usually see is this rod that actuates. And you can see it's actually moving inside the turbo. This is actually what regulates the boost pressure that you're gonna build inside this thing by allowing exhaust gas to flow out here um, in, in this chamber and area. So as that moves, that's basically adjusting the boost pressure that's going back into the motor. If we look over here on the vehicle, the other thing you see mounted to the side of the intake pipe here is the blow off valve. And the reason that we actually mount that into the intake and duck that air back there is so that when you get a high boost pressure, like when you're getting off the throttle, we don't dump it to atmosphere outside air because it makes that characteristic turbo sound that people are used to, that psh sound. Well, it's cool the first few times it happens, but after you've been riding for hours on the trail or you know out in the desert, it starts to get annoying after a while because on these vehicles, you're on off on throttle so much uh, that we actually pump that back into the clean side of the intake so you don't have to listen to the psh, 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 all day long. We've also got a liquid charge air cooler on these. So smaller radiator on the front, which sitting right here, this is actually what's gonna cool the intake charge going into the engine. So after the turbo compresses the air, <coughs> flows down through this pipe here, goes through the intake and right under this cover where you see these two coolant hoses, uh, there's actually like a mini looking radiator that that air is gonna pass through to give it a really consistent temp as it goes into that engine. So this is actually a stack plate oil cooler. So we add more, more layers to it to get better heat transfer between the oil and the liquid coolant. So the ethylene glycol water mixture is flowing through these and the oil is down inside the motor basically going through the inside of that. So it's a liquid to liquid heat transfer. Basically it allows us to keep uh, more consistent oil temps without having to worry about oil coking, um, which is another thing that the liquid cooling on the turbo helps with as well. So you don't have to worry about oil getting too hot and building up sludge uh, inside that turbo area. So why should you care about having a liquid cooled turbo? Well, it's gonna give you more consistent temps, lower temps of the turbo, which means we can build more power and put more smiles on your face. What else do you like about liquid cooling? Well, we've also got the charge air cooler that's liquid cooled on this, so it's liquid to air, not air to air. So as that air gets compressed off the turbo, comes down through the throttle body, goes through the liquid charge air cooler, we can give you a really consistent temperature across all riding conditions. Whether you're at low elevations, high, hot outside or cold, you're gonna get beautiful 181 horsepower delivery across almost all operating ranges on the Pro XP or Turbo R. Hey, that's it for episode one of Shop Talk. 
Gave you a quick tour of the uh, Pro XP and Turbo R engine making 181 horse and why it's putting smiles on faces with a few details for you. Uh, hit that like button. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and when we make more episodes, you'll be notified so you can watch the next one.